wrapper classes. So you've seen us use integers like that and doubles like that and characters like this. And these are uh, primitive types. So we talked about how if the type starts with a lowercase letter, then it's called primitive type. And the ones with an uppercase letter like string, those are actual classes. Um, Java also has these wrapper classes for the primitive types. So such as integer i2 is 44. I can do that. Oops, no, I don't want to put it there. It's just a number between codes. So I can have an integer i2 that is 44. I can have a double d2, which is 5 point whatever. And I can have a character c2, which is the letter A, capital A. Uh, capital A. And there you go. So, and I can print this out. So I can print out I2. And if I run that, it'll print out 44. And you can print out D2. Uh, and I can print out C2. When I run that, again, print out 5.44 and letter A. So I can do arithmetic with these guys. I can say something like, you know, integer x is uh, i plus i2, print out x, run, and 49 is the answer. So, you know, I can basically do almost, almost everything that I can do with the primitive type I can do with the wrapper class for that primitive type. Um, so they work, you know, they're a substitute. And the big difference is uh, if you go, uh, if you type in i dot, you get nothing. When you type i2 dot, then you get Eclipse will pop up all these methods. So this is uh, part of the reason for the wrapper classes. This is where Java puts in a lot of the methods associated with, in this case, integers. And so there are all this useful stuff, like you know, change it to a binary string, or change it from a binary string to a number, change it to a string, decoded, um, get the integer part, etc. cetera, uh, that are, is useful to have. Um, the main one, the first one we're going to use and, um, is the, let's say, integer x equals integer dot the parse int. And we've used this, or we have used this one already. So this is a method parse int that takes as input a string and returns an integer. So the string is a string representation of an integer. Uh, and it's gonna, so it takes the string 44 and returns an integer. So I can run that and I'll print out 44, so it's fine. And that's very useful when you're reading information from the user or from a file. Many times you read something from a file, you have to read it as a string. Um, so then you want to change it back to an integer. Also, sometimes you want to read numbers as a string, do some string manipulation on the string, and you know, like get rid of uh, any extra characters at the beginning and at the end, uh, get rid of a dollar sign at the beginning, that kind of stuff, and then put that into an integer or a double. So similarly, integer has parse int, uh, double has uh, parse double. Two, four, four. And as you can see, by the way, I'm using this double dot parse double integer the parse in. These are static methods, so they're associated with the class, and they are static methods. So I could have done you know, d2 dot parse double, but not there because d2 is not defined yet. But uh, um, yeah, 
Let's do that point four and then two, two, three, something like that. So I could have done that, but generally, because again, it's a static method, we don't use that. There's no reason to have a D2 there. It just makes more sense to have a double there. This is a, because it is a static method. So there you go. So you have integers and doubles and character. Similarly, the character has uh, a bunch of methods that are useful. Scroll down here. Uh, there are a lot of them. Get the numeric values of a character. Uh, stuff to do with the encoding. Is space is very nice because uh, the space this is not literally a space. Uh, the specified character is a white space. There's, as you can see, a tab or a new line or a form feed or a carriage return or an actual space can be a space. Very useful stuff when you're reading from a file and you have a bunch of numbers that are separated by white space. By white space, we mean you know any one of these guys here. They look the same to the civilians, but those of us who have to read files know better. Um, so it's got a lot of useful methods in there. Uh, while I'm here, I also want to just mention the math class. Uh, there is also uh, a kind of a wrapper class, if you will, but it's the math class. And if you type math dot, it'll give you all these uh, static methods that do math stuff, like calculating the maximum number, calculating the remainder using the IEEE methods, the sines and cosines, um, and uh, very importantly, the random number generator. Um, so that one will return just a random number between zero and one every time you run it, uh, which is very useful when you're making games and stuff like that. And so 0 0.125, 0 0.0. Every time you run it, it's going to be different. 